I thought last week was the worst week I have ever had at work. That was until this week. And it's Saturday now, and what better way to alleviate the stresses of the working week than coming out and doing a bit of landscape photography. Today I've come to the centre of the Lake District National Park, not far from the village of Chapel Style, and I've come up here to photograph the Langdale Pikes. Now, I had been told that there was snow on the pikes this week, but obviously, now that we're at the weekend, as is usually the case, that snow has now melted, and we're left with a, a fairly plain old scene. This is a location that I visited before, and I've actually filmed from here before as well. Uh, that was about 14, 15 months ago, something like that. Um, but I've come back today, and um, mostly because I haven't really had any time to prepare a location. And I think, as landscape photographers, one of the things that we can do to kind of improve our work is to have a number of locations that we can return to time and time again, building up a more intimate knowledge of that location. And this is one such location. Uh, from this point, and I am just above Luffrig Fell, you get a fantastic view of the Langdale Pikes. And this is one of those locations where the composition doesn't really change, but what I want to do here is to continue coming back time and time again until I get that perfect light. It's a pretty grey and overcast morning this morning, and I've got quite an interesting sky, but there is no light on the actual peaks themselves. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand around for a bit and wait and see if something happens. And if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter today, because today is really all about getting out, enjoying where I am, and forgetting a little bit of what's gone before in the week. There's absolutely no light on that scene at the moment, so it's very flat. And now that I've got my camera set up, all there is left for me to do is to wait and see if anything happens. So while doing that, I'll talk you through some of the settings that I'm using, which is something I don't do very often. As you can see, I've got the telephoto lens on. Now, I don't use this very often, or I hadn't been using it very often. I bought it specifically for photographing in the mountains. Um, but I think something's changed, and, and it's as simple as I've got a new bag, and that means my gear is much more accessible. And so I found that I'm using my telephoto lens more and more often. Uh, the, I've also got a polarizer on, which isn't really doing anything, and a two-stop hard edge grad. Now I use two types of grad, I have a soft edge and I have a hard edge. And normally you would think of using a hard edge grad if you were shooting where you've got a very level horizon, something like seascapes. But when you're using telephoto lenses, they have, that has the effect of softening the graduation. And so a soft grad would be um, too soft. And so a hard edge grad, I use those specifically when I'm using my telephoto lens. Now, when I'm using this lens, obviously there's no foreground interest at all. And so what I'm looking for is the sharpest f-stop. And on this lens, that's somewhere between f5.6 and f8. So I'm shooting at f8 today. And that's giving me a shutter speed of about a fifth of a second. Now when I saw the weather forecast last night, I knew that I was going to be doing a lot of standing around waiting, seeing if something would happen. And so Mrs. Sale has sent me out prepared with a sausage roll. Now there is actually a gorgeous sky this morning. So what I'm going to do, I was shooting at 200 mil, I'm going to pull back to 70 mil and get a shot. And then I might even put my standard zoom on and try something at around maybe 35 mil, maybe even as wide as 28. With my standard lens on there, I've thrown that wide open at 24 mil to make the most of that sky. And the sky is still quite bright. So even with a three stop soft edge grad on there, I am having to bracket. I'm just going a stop either side so that I can catch the detail in the sky and in the shadows as well. 
I arrived here at 8 o'clock this morning and it's now about 10 o'clock so I've been here for about two hours and as usual as I've been lining up my shots and slipping in my filters and all that kind of stuff I've just felt the stresses and strains of the working week just ebb away and now I'm gonna do a quick selfie as a little memento, a little memory of this, this morning that I've had nothing particularly exciting has happened but I think for me it's been a very very important shoot because it really has helped me to deal with what I've had to endure during the week um, and I think that's really really important for us in this modern world we need an outlet like photography that helps us get away from our day-to-day -day lives <laughs> I'm going to make it! <laughs> I can't go that way! <laughs> Don't want to sleep tonight at all Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams to be seen I want to lay here beside you Oh quiet Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know So there you are, it's Saturday afternoon You're all set for a night in front of the telly watching Strictly Come Dancing and your phone goes and it's Gareth Thanks and he's on the M6 coming up to the Lake District. And when he gets there, he drags you out, makes you run up Hallin Fell, you miss the sunrise, and the best you can do is get a few shots. Well, here they are. Some flowers, high grass, and beer feet. Oh, Jewish second is a tree. Next to you, it's true. Nowadays, there's nothing I would. This week, I wrote an article on my website all about my relationship with my subscribers. It was a kind of follow on from the video I released two weeks ago when I was shooting at Tarn House with my mate Jeff. And at the end of that article, I asked for suggestions on how I could say thank you to my subscribers for all the support that they've given me over the last 18 months. Now, at the end of that article, my mate Kevin left a comment suggesting that I bring back the hashtag ChrisSalePhoto. So if you're not aware of what that is, I used to take some of the photos that people had tagged with the hashtag ChrisSalePhoto and show them at the end of my videos. And so this week, I'm going to share some of those photos that have been posted to Instagram using the hashtag ChrisSalePhoto. And I'm going to start with one from the man himself. Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know It's where we go I grow wings and tell her goodbye It's not what we see It's what we choose to be We're beyond good I've never been so ready 